How low can you go? Specs, that is. Can a thin client run Windows 10? And if it could, is it possible to run games? And why would you transfer one to do this? Ha! <laughs> Just for fun. Hi guys and welcome. This particular thin client only came with a 4GB SSD. Not enough space to install Windows 10. So I did need a super secret code to access the BIOS, which by default is Fireport with a capital F. But if for some reason it was changed, you'll have to take out the battery for a little bit to reset it back to default. Although a thin client was not meant to store data, I have had some luck disassembling a standard sized SSD and installing it inside. But for this video I am utilizing its USB 3.0 to run Windows 10 from a Win to USB installation. This is a cool tool to have, especially if your PC won't boot from blue or black screen. You can still access your hard drive and your personal files by making it active in disk management using this. Plus, it's your own portable operating system. As for the specs, well, they're rather low because thin clients are low wattage devices. Nevertheless, I'm tossing in a 120mm fan over the passive cooling system, just in case pushing the system for games causes throttling. And yes, I'm wiring a 12 volt fan to run on 5 volts. It'll push just enough air over to places where needed. Now 8 gigabytes of DDR3 might be a little bit of overkill for the games I'm going to play on this, but you know, it matched the fan and I think it looks good. Alright, Windows 10 runs good, especially coming from an external USB 3.0 hard drive. Uh, it's a little slow to load at times, but really not that bad once it's loaded up, it's kind of snappy. Um, let's just uh, load up a graphics driver for a little low spec gaming, and why not? We're conserving energy anyway. Oh wow, this has been fun, and this is my thin client low spec Windows 10 Take Anywhere PC. Until the next time, thank you.